hey what's up guys um today we're gonna do a simple video basic thing that you need to do after you invite install your qs um inventory um we're gonna get right into the video right now i'll show you what we're gonna do so basically you're gonna go back to my vbs so um first oh yeah first you don't like these men you guys we know you don't like these men look like dog shit so we're gonna change all these menus and whatever so we're going to a vbs um i'm going to go to my old files you can see your right idea um i will have it in cost core copy all these you could all change all these pins identity if you want copy and go ahead and drop it in there you could just type in your custom or use one from your old server or just type in the same name exf menu dialog and whatever you just drop it back right in here drop this place place files even the skin changer we don't like the skin changer the identity could stay Skin changer, we don't like the skin changer. Skin changer, look, let me see. Right. Um, we're gonna see if we could re register. If, oh, fuck. Skin changer, look like. Um, it doesn't really matter. Skin changer is when you re register in your account. This thing right here. You see right here. That thing. Okay, this that's just skin changing menu. We're gonna change that also. But we don't like that. So I'll go back on my previous undo skin changer. Copy mine. My server. So we're gonna take all these. This is all your skin change. This don't have the one that we need. Just gonna change it, paste. Change all that file. And then you're gonna go here. Yes, six. Basically, you're gonna go here. Um, config. We want to take off this right here. The side of the screen that show your money. You don't want to want that. I know you guys don't love that. And then when the child true and it's got identity before they load. Okay, so you enable the for all the power job and account back. We don't want that. We go right here. Extend then, extend then, and we're going to change this to false. And you, if you want to change your starting money, whatever, you could change that if you want. I believe featuring very well. Okay, save. And restart our, our server now leave real quick okay and then restart our server fine luckily we don't have a lot of things installed like it take that long so everything restart and be good i'm gonna go back here I'm taking on a little light load. See, the thing is off the screen. Do this. See, this changes look much more better. And also, when you're creating a house, this is also a change. So I'll create right here. Um, create the house F6. See, change. Look much more professional, not look. Why that also change? So you see, you get the point. And also, what we're gonna change? We're gonna delete all that other stuff we got. We don't need that no more. So we'll go here, config, scroll up. We're gonna change, remove accessory. Have it. So you're gonna remove close shop. 
I don't need close shot no more. Let's see. Do I have pass? Okay. So, I'm going to go, uh, gonna go back after this. Up right there. See? No, it's only what we got. You guys supposed to already know how the move is already. We change location. Going back to my house. Yeah, shit. shit. Back out. You guys know the house install. Take out. Okay. Okay, that's a clean screen on whatever. Okay. Then we could also change a blip. Okay, let's do that. No, we're not going to change it. I'm going to leave that in base like dogs. What to do you to know in dress with dogs. So, thank you guys for watching this video. As you guys know, tutorial. Oh, and you could also auto add weapons and food in shop. Let me show you where we are. So we're gonna add right here. Gonna run right here. So basically, if you wanna add. We're gonna add repair kit, right? We're gonna add a repair kit right here. So let's do that. How to add repair kit? We're gonna go back to inventory. This is for every item that you installed. For every item you have to do this for every item. So basically, if you in here, you're gonna go item. item everything in item for example these all of these you have to if you're going to add a new stuff in um in the in your game and you want it to show up in your item you have to go here edit so we're going to search in for repair kit repair kit repair kit is right there. repair kit Okay, this is repair kit right here. Okay, you're gonna get the name. Copy the name. You're gonna go into shop. Oh, there's something wrong right there. You're gonna go back right here. You're gonna go into shop. Unview. And you're gonna go right here. I think it's shop. Okay, so this is a shop. Or for example, you want to remove this because you can't really do nothing with that. You're going to remove water bottle. So you're going to remove water bottle, paste water bottle right there. Paste the name from the item. Item label. going to be the name that shows it. Right there. Okay, press save. Save it. And then you're going to restart your script. Yes. Right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Just messed up now. I was in the shop file there. Damn it.
Okay, there's a little problem right here. Who did? Oh, sorry guys. I left off the. That's why it wasn't working. Back here. But you have to put it. If, if you don't put it right. Repair kit. And to change the, the repair kit now, Picho, you're gonna go back there. Um, I'm gonna use from my old file. Um, image. I can. This is my icon file. Okay, we're gonna use that. Copy. Um, and you're gonna go back right here. Go to inventory. Right here, add picture. Images. Go to images. And you're gonna place it. And make sure it's the same name. Same name. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Same name as this. And the image is supposed to have the same name. Easy. And you're going to refresh to S. Inventory. Stop on me. Oh. I have to restart the server. Remember, anything you add, you have to add that right there. You have to add that right there to get the inventory to work or do anything. Remember, if you leave the name out, it's not going to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Maybe it goes for everything. It goes for everything. So, thank you guys for watching. And it's also the same way you move, um, you move the shop. You want to disable the shop. Oh, wrong one. The shop. This is what. Yes. The item could be closed. When disable the shop, you just, you know, don't want that much shop be showing. Just go like this, you put the line to it. Up to you. You will not break the script. It's up to you what you want to do. As you know, there's a lot of shop here. Or you want to relocate the shop. Relocate the shop, you go right here. Um, You will be changing it. Yeah. Let's get the script and change the shop location from here. Okay. So, here's that. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.